Hello and good evening everyone once again. Today I'm going to do the lab on creating it on RDS server. So what we are going to do, we will create RDS server on MySQL. Let's log in back to the console. Right, for this lab, we only need to have in place a VPC. It can be even your default VPC. So I'm this time using North Virginia site. So we have a VPC internet gateway, which is attached already, then route tables and all the subnets available. From here, we will go to create an RDS server. Click on RDS. Click on database. Right, so I'm going to create a fresh database here. So RDS has six database engines, which is Amazon Aurora, MySQL, MariaDB, MySQL Server, Oracle, and PostgreSQL. So today I'm picking up in this lab is MySQL. So what I'm going to do here, I will create my database engine and then connect it through EC2 and through work my workbench right so just select on this my sql server leave the version whatever it is just choose free tier every time so you don't pay any bills for now if you go for dev test or production they, then you will have to pay some cost for it so database engine just give it some name for example admin sorry admin one let me choose this small a then username my sql server password whichever you like to choose And let me just make a note of these stuff so I don't miss it. My logins, so username. Mm. Right. Just a minute, notepad. Okay, so I have username. I'm making a note of it. So let at the latter stage, we are going to need it. Admin. Oh, sorry, master username is my SQL server. And password, I know what it is. Okay, then go next. has to be same and then db class instance while well, there is different options on a free tier one we just get this one then data storage for general purposes as they allocated 20 gb space leave as it is enable storage yeah that's fine as it is so your default vpc already has been picked by this so leave this as it is your subnet group and default or if you have yours own you can choose here public access because we are going to connect it through via ec2 so it, we have to say here yes in the one working environment it might be different 
security group this is very important one so we need to choose a security group default here i will show you security group in a bit so the security group must be the same for ec2 instance and for database as well availability zone so i will go for example us is d here the same availability zone i need to have in ec2 instance as well Let's see what is in the additional configuration. Database port. This is very important for MySQL. 3306 is the security port. We need to add it in our security. Also password authentic database and label as it is. Then additional configuration. Initial database name again. Uh, I will give it for example set one. Uh, again need to make a note of it as we are going to use it initial data base name this is set one i will need these in, this information at the later stage DB parameter, this all can backup automatic backup in the working run again. You do it because this is all occurs your cost, but in this stage, in a practical level, I'm just going to untick that. I don't need it. Okay. I am role. If you had any, you could link it as well. Enable auto minor version. Yes, this can be done. Just leave it maintenance window again options to choose whichever you need more in the i will leave it as a no preference deletion delete deletion protection enable so accidentally no one can delete it if in the work environment so create the database now okay so it will take some time now in the meantime, we can go to the EC2 instance and create one for us. Okay. So let's go to the EC2 instances. Again, instances and launch an instance. Okay, so select one free tiers once. Auto signing should be enabled. I will take again for the instrument the same U as is D zone. Well, or maybe no preference for the availability zone. Right. And go to the storage. Security group so 22. Again, I have already a security group created. So we can choose our security group where I have these ports, which I will tell you now in a bit. And launch the instance. SSH is 22 is a EC2 group which needs access now and MySQL Aurora is a 3306 so we need to give this access in our EC2 group. 54322 is a PostgreSQL which I will show you in the next lab. So let's launch our instance. Again choose the existing key which I already have here. Okay. 
and create the instance. This is being created, so I can give it a name, said and Virginia. Sid Virginia. Okay. Right now, my EC2 instance is up and running. Let's check what the security group is here. This is very important. Right, so what access we have again? So ports 3306 and 22 port. These are very important ones here. You can ignore this port here, 5432. That is for PostgreSQL. Now let's go back to the RDS and check what security group is there we have. Also the zone. By the way, we will go back and check our zone in. So admin one. So zone is US East 1D, which is perfectly fine. All the subnets are here. As we saw there, port 3306. Security group is the same as in for the VPC group, but let's go and have a look on that. Inbound rules. Again, 3306 and 22. Okay, so let's go back to our EC2 instances. And check if it, they are in the same availability zone as well. I believe so. Yeah, US East 1D. Now once we have this, list. go to RDS first. Let's, let's connect with, through my workbench first. Databases, admin. Okay, so what is very important here is your endpoint. Copy your endpoint, click on my workbench. Click on plus sign. Here, you can give a name to it. No. Virginia, my workbench, TCP IP, and in the host name, just paste your <clears throat> endpoint in the root foot. What was the name again? Let me say, username was my SQL server my sql server and password whichever you create okay test the connection successfully made to the mysql connection click okay and <clears throat> okay so you're not Virginia, my workbench is ready for to upload that data in it. Okay, so you can create here by just typing by typing create data here. Create data. And then give it a name, for example, item number seven zero. So in this way, and then click in here, 
you will see it is running. So in this way, you will create your database, your tables and everything, all the data you can insert in here. Okay, let's get out of here, my work workbench and let's see how we can connect it through EC2 instance. So again, let's go to the EC2 instance. Okay, copy the public IP address and click on put in. If you don't have put in your computer, just it's an easy install from the Google. Get your this is its key. Okay, and then EC2 user, just log in as EC2 user. Go to the root. Okay, here we need to install MySQL server. So yum install MySQL Y. Okay, you can see here is already installed completed <clears throat> where you can see install MariaDB and this version. Once you are here, then you need to just put some command which are going to put down in this video. So what you need to do, type my SQL hey and then copy paste your database endpoint again here. So let's go back to the database. Copy this endpoint here then put the user's detail. So hyphen user. So what's the username here? We have my SQL server, my SQL server, then space hyphen password. Oh, sorry. And the initial database name that is set one. Hit enter and your password again. We have successfully logged in to our MySQL server. Welcome, to, you can see this message, welcome to MariaDB monitor. That's it for this lab. Thank you very much for watching. Just make sure you always have the same availability zone and the same security group for EC2 instance and for your database. Thank you very much for watching. Now just simply delete these instances. We can close this window, okay. Go back to the dashboard, select it and delete it. It is a free version, but still, if you have more than limit, you may still occur the cost. So delete, just write down delete me and click delete. So the database engine is being created and deleted. It, the same way go to EC2 and delete or stop at least your instance. So Sid Virginia, I don't want this. I'm just terminating this instance. Thank you very much for watching.